Hello, and today I'm going to teach you how to create this design in Figma to use for your Instagram post. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. What you want to do is first open up a new untitled file. Okay, and now that we have our file opened up, we're going to go to the top and edit the name. So let's go ahead and edit this to Instagram post. Now that we have that done, we're going to need a template. If you're a Twist Lab client, you'll have access to the different templates in our team library. How you access that is you go to the Assets tab, you'll click on the book icon, and you'll go down to the bottom to Templates. You'll click that to turn on. To the left, you'll have all these templates. So there's an Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, Facebook. I want to go ahead and do an Instagram post template. So I'm going to grab and drag it over to my main screen. Now, if you're not a Twist Lab client, you still have access to different social media templates in Figma. I'll teach you how to access that. So let's go ahead and scroll this over a bit. You will go up here to the top and we're gonna click on this. What I'm clicking on is the frame option or I can hit the F key. And if I don't have anything selected, you'll see to the right in the design category, there will be a lot of different options for frames. When we go down, you'll see social media as an option. What you would want to do is go ahead and hit Instagram post and this brings your template up in your file. So this is if you're not a Twist Lab client, you still have access to these templates. Twist Lab does have a few more options than the other template. Okay, so now that we have that done, we're going to delete this one and I'm going to just go off of the Twist Lab template. Okay, and and while we're in the asset panel, we're going to go ahead and go and click on the book again to access the the team libraries. If you're a Twist Lab client, you'll have access to all of these stock photo libraries. Uh, if you're not a Twist Lab client, you can download a plugin in Figma called Upsplash, and that's how you can access pictures to use in your designs. I'm not sure about the copyright for Upsplash. You would need to check what the requirements are for using Upsplash commercially. Okay, so once we've done that, I've gone to stock photos, I've clicked on this, and to the left it brings up all the picture categories that you have available to you. Let's go down, stylish people. Okay, this is the picture that I used. Okay, I'm going to drag that picture into the frame. I want this picture to be square, so I'm going to go to the right and I'm going to change the width and the height of the picture. So let's make this 630. Perfect, that's exactly the way I want it. Okay, and I want to change the color of this box from gray to white. I'm going to go down to selection colors and where it shows this gray, I'm going to drag this to white instead. This is because I'm using the Twist Lab templates. If I was using the other templates in Figma, I could just go under fill, but it'd be right here. For Twist Lab templates, it's under selection colors. Okay, let's go ahead and go back to this. And now I want to go ahead and start to make my shapes. I'm going to go up to the top category under shape tools and let's go ahead and first start with a polygon and now I want to move this polygon so that it's in the corner of the picture I'm gonna zoom in a little bit so I can see and I want it to touch the ends of the picture perfect I'm going to grab my picture bring it up a little bit so it's not in my way I'm gonna go back to shape tools and go to rectangle or I could hit the R key and I want to make a rectangle that is touching this triangle right here. I don't want to make this triangle a little bit different, so I'm going to grab it from the side and just go like that. Bring down the rectangle, and I want the rectangle to touch the triangle. I'm gonna go ahead and grab it and make it just a little bit bigger so it can touch the ends of the triangle. I can look right here and see where it's at. If I want it to be right there, that's fine. And now what I wanna do is I'm going to grab my picture and I'm gonna bring it over to the right, and I want it to line up with this rectangle right there lined up perfectly okay great and then let's go ahead and make some lines so i'm going to go back to our, our shapes tool and click on the l key or line right here i'm going to create a line about right there holding down shift this creates this makes the line straight i'm going to hit the l key to make another line holding down shift so it's straight i'm going to hit the l key again and hold down the shift key making the line straight, touching right there, awesome. And in layers panel, I'm going to select the top line, hit shift and select the bottom line so it selects all of them. Over here to the right, this is the weight of the line. I'm going to change this to six so that it's more bold. Now let's go ahead and I want to make our shape for the bottom. So let's go to the pen tool 
up here and with the pen tool I want to go ahead and click right here and I want to make a different type of shape with the pen tool so I'm going to go ahead and click right there and diagonally place that right there another one right there and click to the top once i'm done using the pen tool make sure you go up and hit done if you don't it will stay in the pen tool with the pen tool it makes it a vector art and you'll see that in your layers panel so with the vector art selected i'm going to go over to fill i'd want that stroke transparent so i clicked on stroke and i brought it down the transparency great okay now i want to change the colors i want to change this rectangle to be black so i'm going to select the rectangle go to fill and bring down my color to black okay click out of it and now i'm going to hit the o key and the o key will let me create a circle so with that selected or i can go up here and hit it right here okay with that selected i'm going to start dragging and making it i'm going to hold down shift so it's equal on all sides the fill, let me change this to 80% fill. Okay, now that we have all of our shapes made, we're going to go ahead and go to the top and click the T or hit the T key. So we'll go ahead and make a selection of where we want our text to be. With the text, I'm going to choose my font and the size. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, and if you notice, the text color is black. I'm going to go to fill. I'm going to select white okay now with that done let's see what it looks like i may make the text a little bit smaller i'm going to drag it and bring it over i want that to be about right there great and now i'm going to hit the t key again make some more text i want to make some more text and it's going to do the same as my other text that I put in the design. Save up to. I want to select it all. Go to the size and let's change it so that it's not so big. I'm going to change the font and the boldness of the next text that I make. So what I want to do is go to the right and this is the auto height. I'm going to select this one and this just changes it so that I can add some more text to the bottom. Let's do save up to and then now I'm going to click the T key again. Go over here and make a new text field going to be 30 cent off. I want to make this different so I'm going to select it. I'm going to make this a little bit bigger and then now let's grab this text. So now this part is just more about just deciding where you want to put your text and everything like that. And also at this point you can also decide to change the sizing of the circle or just see what works best for your design. Okay, great. Everything looks done. And again, this is just a tutorial about how to play with Figma and just create a design of your own. And now that we have our design completed, what we want to do is go ahead and we're going to hit the F key, which will create a frame. And we're going to go over everything that we created in our post. Great. We're going to double click on the word frame one and we're going to name it Instagram post. post one. Okay, now that that's done, we're going to click on the frame. We're going to go to the right, go down, go to export. You want to preview it to make sure everything looks good. Everything looks fine. Then we're going to hit export Instagram post one. This will export it to your computer and now you can upload it to your Instagram or if you made it for a Facebook post, you can upload it to Facebook. I hope this tutorial has helped you and please comment below any questions you may have. Have a good day.